Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. It's Thursday, December 27th, the year 2018. Let's talk trading. Happens every time. You're wondering what I'm talking about, don't you? Well, it's not what you think, because you're probably thinking, yeah, every time I buy, the price drops, and every time I sell, then the price goes up, right? No, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is something that I've talked about before. Maybe I don't talk about it enough, but it's the turn trade. The simple thing, you know, there's some people that believe in the concept of trend and, <clears throat> you know, they have all these trend indicators and all these squiggly lines that tell you when the trend reverses. And, oh, there's just so much of that out there. But there's something that happens every time, and it's the turn trade. And something else that should happen every time is every time you trade, you should employ your money in risk management, right? But let's let's look at the turn trade. You see here on the monthly chart, we had a bottom put in here, right? Got this bottom, and you see you got a red followed by a green at the bottom, a red followed by a green at the bottom. Well, you see, for price to go up off a of bottom, you're going to have a red candle because that's what pushes down. Then when it starts to go up, you're going to have a green. And that's the turn trade right here. Price turned. See here at the top, you have a green candle followed by a red. That's a turn. That's when price turned. See, green followed by red, price turned. Red followed by green, price turned. Now, what you want to do is you want to look at a, at a, you know, you can just look at the chart. You don't need, you don't even need horizontal lines. You see, this is a, this is the top of the chart. This is the bottom of the chart. Now, granted, maybe at some point in time, this was the bottom of the chart. You see, you have red followed by a green, but price didn't turn up. It turned down. But when you look back, you always see in hindsight. So, what happens here? Well, usually you want to see price break out of that previous candle's high and close above it on some time frame, like maybe the daily or the weekly or daily or at least hourly. Maybe it needs to close above that point for price to have turned. It's just that simple. I don't know how to make it any simpler than that. So you just look at, I mean, you can pick, let's pick a pair. Okay. New Zealand, Canadian. I don't think I've ever traded that pair. But what do we have just a couple of months ago? You can see here. We had a red followed by a green at the bottom. And then you see here price went up you see here we, we had a top we have a green followed by a red and what happened price went down green see we got near the top right green followed by a red what happened next price went down that's pretty much all there is to it. You don't need any squiggly lines. You don't need anything down here, some other indicator telling you what your eyes tell you. So unless you're colorblind and can't see red, green, then you can maybe use black, white, or whatever colors you can see. That is all you need to look for. And on the weekly, it's pretty much the same thing. Red followed by green. Or I'm sorry, green followed by red here. See, red followed by green at the bottom, green followed by red at the top, green followed by red at the top, red followed by green at the bottom. What do we have here? Red followed by green at the bottom. That's Larry Live Trade. Oh, and once again, red followed by green at the bottom. So, 
it's not that difficult. But what's very interesting is, is that dollar yen's outperforming euro yen now. But I don't think I'm going to switch anytime soon, but we'll see what happens. But I mean, wow, look at all these ranges over 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's a lot of that's a lot of movement in these pairs. A lot. Buy zone. See, we had the pivot point, so we're looking to short. So short, short. That may have been once again right here. That would have either been a scratch trade or possible. Well, no, because you should have had your stop loss there, so you would have just been wiggled. Here, same thing. Here, same thing. Here, same thing. Here, payoff at the pivot. So that was that was a nice trade. So now it reversed off that pivot, crossed above the open, and you can see right here, long trigger, should have taken a few pips. Long trigger, should have taken a few pips. And once again, long trigger, ear up a few pips. Rats, red rats get prepared. You can see here, red rats already had some, green rats had some. And once again, see even on M15, green followed by red at the top, price goes down. Red followed by green at the bottom, and price goes up. That's a turn. That's what you look for. And if you have, because this happens every time there's a move a reversal it just has to happen <clears throat> so if you find if if you just look for that nothing more just in your trading <clears throat> you can put everything off to the side so right here we've got a green look for a red to follow and then you can jump jump in we're almost at R1 here. Once again, we took out that pivot. Weekly pivot at 27.12. Maybe it can take that out between today and tomorrow. I don't know. You see, we still have three missed pivots. We're only missing this one by 17 pips at the moment. So maybe this pivot will get taken out today. Price action. One, let's see, we got a three ball at the top, red at the line. But once again, green followed by red. And what happened? And here we go. Red followed by green. Two ball at the bottom, green at the line. I'm looking at this, I'm thinking maybe I should add max spread over here too. And maybe put a threshold in here so if it's over a certain amount or under a certain amount. Actually, I guess if it's over, that would be a warning not to buy. And actually, rather than max spread, we should probably look at the minimum spread. Because max spread just means something's crazy. Min spread, that's when you see what you can get your best deal. So right now it's between 2.3, 2.4, what we're looking at. And another thing about spread, if it got really narrow, that might be the indication something's about to happen. Usually it's when it gets really wide, that's like right before the news. Uh, I let me just mention as usual um, candle color at the line nothing difficult oh and as we saw here once again green followed by red at a top and red followed by green at a bottom and sometimes you get a little sometimes you get a lot Quick zones, in and out, in and out, in and out. Holo right here, Larry Live Trade. There was a holo here at the 126.63. And 
inventory retracements. See, we had a short trigger put in here, paid off nicely. Then there was a long trigger here, got crossed a couple of times, paid off nicely. Oh, spread down to 2.1, 2 point, 1.9 I just saw. And one of my favorite screens, you know, I say it every day, but the previous daily, weekly, monthly, open high and low, just taking those crosses, candle color at the line. Tick chart, we had the ash dropping below the uh, peak of the bid, and then we just had the bid coming above valley of the ask. You can see it right here. So you can see here, every time it goes above, that means we're buying for selling to start. We'd have to drop below 57. Einstein line, simple, nice move. Larry Live Trade just triggered. Inside bar. Okay. I think we had the, uh, the pound. So we had that daily inside bar, almost broke, well, it was a tiny breakout, and then it snapped back. So the pound is still stuck in that inside bar from uh, three sessions ago, trading sessions ago. I can't say days because we had a day that wasn't a uh, trading session. So I try to be as accurate as I can with the language. You know, I'm thinking, I'm looking at this, I think maybe I need to update something. So if it's inside, maybe I should have one color. And if it's outside, I should have a different color. Might have to update the uh, dashboard for that. I think that could be helpful. Okay, let's put this back to the Euro Yen. And once again, looking at the first day of the month, first day of the week, and just taking a look at some of the pairs here. Okay, you can see we Euro just broke out of the high and, you, and it also broke out of the month, first day of the month here. So you can see uh, some nice trading there. If we scrunch it down. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't want to do that. I want to look at a couple other pairs. Let's look at the pound dollar. You can see here it broke out of that first day of the month again. So I really think this is proving to uh, be something that's tradable. High of the week here, once again, it broke out. So looks like this might be a very simple trade that we can use in our arsenal. And once again, looking at the frequency distribution of the range, you can see 10 or more, about almost 90% of the time. So that lets you know when to take profit. And just looking at where price is in the wick zone. Okay, fellow traders, just remember that one thing that happens every time, the turn trade. It's not because it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain.